Doctors at Royal Perth Hospital are leading a nationwide clinical trial into the treatment of one of the most deadly medical conditions in Australia. Sepsis kills more people every year than breast and prostate cancer combined. You've got to go home on some antibiotics. 46-year-old Christina Richards almost died from sepsis. The keen marathon runner admitted to RPH with pneumonia that quickly progressed into the more serious condition. Fairly quickly I deteriorated and... Um, I f my blood pressure went really low, I uh, didn't understand why. She was on the brink of death when she was rushed to the ICU, treated with a combination of fluids and medication. It's something that you, you don't expect to happen to someone that's healthy and, and I think I'm pretty healthy. I have a healthy diet, I exercise 10, 15 hours a week. She's now back on her way to full health and taking part in a groundbreaking new study. Doctors from Royal Perth Hospital leading a nationwide clinical trial into the deadly but little-known illness. Sepsis as a complication of, for example, pneumonia, or it can complicate a urinary tract infection, or really uh, you know, a skin infection or any other uh, type of infection in the body. They're analysing whether patients are being over-prescribed fluids, sometimes up to five litres in six hours, and by changing their approach and giving patients antibiotics sooner, it could make all the difference. All the best. And what we're finding is that we're reducing the amount of fluid given in the first six hours by, on average, about a litre. A patient may get started on the medication after as little as a litre of fluid initially. Sepsis kills more people in Australia than breast and prostate cancer combined, responsible for more than 3,000 deaths a year, 18,000 admissions to hospital. 20% who contract it die from it, and it makes up 11% of patients in our ICU wards. Researchers hoping this study will dramatically reduce those figures. It has the potential to save lives uh, across the globe um, with an intervention that basically doesn't cost anything. The research being conducted in here at the emergency department at RPH is unique because doctors aren't looking into a new treatment. Instead, they're revising a well-established one. Eight hospitals Australia-wide are testing the approach on 100 patients chosen after presenting with the condition in the ED. They expect to start compiling their results late next year. Elizabeth Creasy, Nine News.